recording. All right. Hey everybody, this is that drummer guy, Josh Ronquist, and I'm here with Jeff from Catechism, who is uh, currently on the Iron Will tour, featuring Catechism, Origin, Flesh God Apocalypse, Vital Remains, and Rose Funeral. And they're going to be playing here tonight at St. Paul, Minnesota at Station 4. How's it going, man? Doing good, good yourself? I'm doing great. Awesome. Uh, I finally got to see you guys after being a fan since uh, the first time I heard Ambassador Payne. Awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah it's, all, it's always great to, to play here in Minneapolis. We have like great fans, like great support from the people here. It's always amazing. Station 4 people are nice too, like, good, friendly staff. And it's always a pleasure to be here. Oh yeah, I definitely love coming here for shows. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, is this the first of the states? Uh, for the tour? I mean, uh, you were just up in Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we were only doing like a, a little run for the Iron Will DVD because we, we, we did a huge like world tour last year for the last album and we're, uh, we were taking up taking a, a year off of Cataclysm um, but with the DVD release, like a, we said we just want to go out there and say hi to everybody real quick and we did two weeks in Europe, played a few festivals there uh, and then we're doing this, this run uh, and then last show ends in Dallas, we'll fly to Switzerland for another open air, and then that's it. That's going to be like a, you know, just a, a small run for the DVD. Oh, very cool. Uh, so how did this uh, lineup come to be? Uh, do you pick these guys out, or was it the label? Or We always want to bring friends along with us for, for whenever we tour, because we feel like touring. For us, it's something fun. We, we want to go out there and have like people we get along with and good bands that we believe are great musicians and talented and uh, that's that's what we we always want to try to look at bands also that are, are available in the time frame we want to do this but it was great that the orange guys and the flesh god guys wanted to join us for this trek and it's been it's been fun we're sharing the bus with flesh god apocalypse great bunch of guys and we're having a blast so far Oh, definitely so, yeah. I mean, just the entire lineup is something that I've been waiting to see mm -hmm. for a very long time. I'm very glad that came to fruition. Yeah, we, we uh, for us, we wanted to do like a brutal extreme lineup for a while because we're, uh, sometimes we uh, get thrown on different tours and, and we get to play with different styles of music, but this time, like, we're, we're, uh, we come from the extreme death metal and <laughs> we wanted to bring like some something really intense for this, this trick. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, for this tour, do you have anything uh, specially planned, or is it just like uh, showing off the best of Catechism? Yeah, pretty much. Like we, we want to. Of course, we're still showcasing the, the latest record because uh, it's still doing well. It's one of one of our best-selling CDs, and we want to play those songs. But we are going back a little bit more to to play older stuff and play some of the. Also, some of the songs we never get to play on usual tours. Like we've picked the. The set list is like half of it is more our classic tracks that people want to hear, and the other half is songs that we never play in life. So that's fun for us because it's more exciting to play some stuff you, you're not used to play. So you get to uh, be a little more stressed about the songs because you're they're not um, like some of the songs we've been playing for like years, and it's so uh, you know we're gonna nail it right because it's it's like almost computerized when you play them. <laughs> but those songs, it's like. You gotta think, you know, okay, what's coming next, and then make sure like all the riffs are on, and it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's oh. a little challenge. Oh, that that's the excitement of playing in a band, though. Yeah, I exactly. mean, especially with the catalog that you guys have. Yeah. And also, that kind of answers the next question that I had. Uh, what are some of your favorite songs to play live? Uh, I like, 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 like I said, like <laughs> some of the songs, like the some of those classic tracks we have, are always fun because of the feeling they bring and the energy. But to me, it's always fun to go back, like. Uh, few albums back and play those older tracks like I personally I really love the, the Shadows and Dust record and there's a lot of songs on there that we don't really play a lot that I love to play so we're playing a couple of the store that the, one of the odd tracks <laughs> that, that we never played so Shadows and Dust like the in the arms of the station I really like also a lot of songs that we don't get to play a lot on this record and, and some of the older so stuff stuff as, as well we're, we're playing songs from the temple of knowledge and that's like 96 and it's still oh, yeah. really exciting to play mm -hmm. uh, so uh after this tour is done uh, do you currently have any riffs that you have for the next album or are you just like taking a pure your break we're uh, we have uh, I, I personally have a lot of riffs on my computer because i always write them home and I, I, I 
I'm, I'm passionate about music, so whenever I have free time, I pick up my guitar and open up the computer and start just playing and recording stuff. So I have ideas, but there's nothing set in stone, or we haven't like really talked to each other about, about what we're gonna do yet, because we're uh, we're still finishing this campaign for the Iron Will DVD, and after that, we're gonna tour with our other band, XDO for a little bit, and we just like uh, record and release that CD. That I, I think it's coming out next week. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's like taking a bit of time to to put on, 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 on that project and then when we're gonna be through all that touring then by next summer I think we're gonna start writing and then recording. I, I don't think we're gonna have an album out till 2014 honestly. Like it's, it's gonna be a little break but uh, I think it's needed too like uh, just to we played so much everywhere it's, it's gonna be good to come back with new songs and uh, like a new concept. And oh, very much so. I mean, like, uh, as active as you guys are, sometimes yeah. it is good just to hold back a little bit and exactly. just recharge your batteries. Exactly. And then uh, at the same time, we're, we're, we're still playing music because we're working the other project. And, uh, and it's a really exciting project, too, because it's quite different from what we do. And it has a lot of uh, symphonies and melodies and twin guitars because we're two guitar players. So we, that's that, that makes it different. And, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna be touring with the Septic Flesh Tour in October. Oh, that's right, and it's actually coming here too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that one as well. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm stoked, yeah. and it's gonna be fun to open again because with Cataclysm, we, we always get the higher position on the bills. Mm -hmm. But it's fun to go back to the roots and be a opener band again, and just be able to play the show and then you go party all night <laughs> <laughs> and watch the other bands because when you headline, you tend to hold back a little bit of the partying because you gotta, you gotta play straight and you gotta... Well, depending on the band. Yeah, oh, very, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, we, we stay out late at night and we party all night, but... Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but, like, when you're an headliner, the thing that sucks about headlining a show is you're you're playing, everybody's there, it's a great show, and you're having a good time, and the party starts, and show stops, everybody goes home, and you're like... Okay, what's next? And you're up there with your your drink, and you're like, okay, so let's we, we party by ourselves. We go on the bus and we play some '80s rock, and we're like, yeah, with beers. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty much like the, the recurring night every night. <laughs> uh, uh, throwing beers, listening to Def Leppard sounds yeah, like a good yeah, time. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's what I mean, our evenings. Uh, so, uh, so in recent memory, what are some of your like uh, favorite concerts or touring experiences? Uh, there's so, so many. Uh, my favorite concert ever, if I can pinpoint one, would be uh, the Metal Fest Festival in Czech Republic. Oh yes. And, and it was like, not because of, uh, it, like it was a big concert outdoors, the, the thing that I really loved about it is the setup of the, of the place itself, because we were on stage and it's kind of like an old Greco-Roman arena outside, like, you know, and the, the location was so incredible. And, we started playing at sunset, oh, and, the, nice. and the sky was like orange and purple. And you were, as the set went on, like the, the the sun went down, and then the lights came up, and we had like all the, 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 the not the pyros, but like the smoke and everything. Oh yeah, it was just a great a great ambience, and I, I think that was my favorite show ever we ever did. But like the, and there's also like tiny club shows that I love where when you go into a really small club and it's packed and the energy is like. People are running your face, stage diving, and going insane, and that's a great feeling too. <laughs> oh, very much so. Uh, so, uh, uh, getting to Iron Will, uh, was it your guys' idea to uh, come up with this uh, compilation, Best Of, or was it more of a label idea? At first, like uh, it started with Maurizio, wanted, he wanted to uh, write a book about the story of the band, because we've been together for, for 20 years, and he said, yeah, I want to put it on, on the book, with everything that happened to us. And as he was writing it, like a few years on the line, it's like I'm never going to finish this because it's taking too much time and he never wrote a book before so it's like I, I'm not quite sure how to put it together and decided to, like he was like why not just put out a DVD with the, the actual story on DVD <laughs> on film and, and we're like okay sure let's do that and we hired uh, Tommy Jones, uh, uh, he's a good uh, producer for that type of stuff and mm -hmm. He worked with us, he came on the road for like three years filming everything and he, he, 
pieced out the, the, the documentary really masterfully. Like the, the story is there. Like it's a long documentary, it's five hours and a half, but oh, wow. it's very detailed from the early days all the way to to now. And you got you get that. You get a live show uh, on DVD. You get the compilation, the best of, and you you're getting also the live show on CD as audio. It's like a four. Uh, uh, two DVD, two CD kit, and I, I think it's it was a good uh, way to say thank you to our fans for support for all those years, and for us to have a souvenir of our old career, because now I can go home and show my family look what I did, and <laughs> what I've been doing for these past 20 years, or if ever I get kids someday, I'll be able to show them whatever we did, and to me, that was a, a good souvenir of, every, of all that, and for us, and for the fans. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah. that like uh, actually taking the time to show everything that you've done over the years. That's yeah. very cool. And it's always cool to see, like like for me personally yeah, as a music fan, I'll, I'll, I always love to watch the, the band documentary to see where they go, how they live, how, how the people are personally. Because like, you know them as songwriters and as musicians, but as in, in, they, in the daily life, how, like what kind of car characters you're dealing with and stuff. It's always interesting to see. So to put it out it was it was fun but at the same time like when you look at it from the band point of view like we look like a bunch of idiots <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what yeah, you're saying when you see it yourself you're like eh, I don't know if people actually want to see that but we were like we're getting great reviews and, and it's really ourselves when we didn't try to pretend to be somebody else for the camera it's mm -hmm. just like whatever you see it's like reality so it's quite cool sometimes and sometimes embarrassing but <laughs> <laughs> I, I always tend to like those more though I mean yeah. you can tell the ones that are scripted and you can tell the ones that yeah. are real and I always I would go for like, the real ones personally I would have a hard time acting and following a script to do something like this because I'm not an actor and mm -hmm. it would feel really awkward to be like hey what's up and try to <laughs> make a scene or something <laughs> oh, that's kind of yeah. how I do it with interviews too. Yeah. It's like um, I, ne I never have anything like written down what I want to yeah. do. I just I always like the stream of yeah. yeah, like the stream of consciousness, having a real conversation rather than just Q and A. And it's more more interesting for the fans as well watching to to be able to see something more real than the usual. Oh, definitely. Uh, okay, uh, might need to wrap it up in a couple minutes. Uh, okay. uh, just a couple more. I want to flow out. Uh, is there any current bands that you're listen listening to right now that uh, you feel like you're kind of inspired by, or you feel that uh, is going to be like taking over metal anytime soon? Uh, upcoming bands, you mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, like up and coming bands. I, I, there's so, so many I like. Like every night, like we uh, oh, especially on these tours, we always get like a local opener to mm -hmm. to support the tour, and I always go watch. And some of these kids that really blew me, they are blowing me away. Like, and I like that because it, it, as a musician, you. Uh, you get the inspiration from the kids because I, I, I want new bands to kick my ass. So I'm like, I want to play better and it, it kicks you in the butt to write better songs and to, to be better as a musician. I, 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 I don't have names coming to my mind right now, but there's so many great talent out there upcoming mm -hmm. and it's great to see. I, I really encourage that and I, I, I that's the next thing I want is a new band of 16 year old coming and kicking my ass and be faster and more brutal and, <laughs> and, and write catchier tunes and that's that's what I want to see for the future. Oh, yeah, same here. That's that's one of the main reasons I love that you have Flesh yeah. God Apocalypse on this tour because yeah, they've been amazing. kicking everybody's ass lately. Oh, they're, they're, they're really amazing, they're great musicians and great bunch of guys. It's great to see people with talent that are not, uh, they don't have like the, the big ass over their shoulder and walking like there, there's something because there's really no place for that in that kind of music and mm -hmm. and you see it you see it a lot with the new upcoming band sometimes like the new kids on the block and, and mm -hmm. those guys are totally cool and it's really really nice i wish them the best of luck uh, same here uh, just to wrap things up uh, is there anything you'd like to say to anybody watching this or going to be listening to this that uh, we haven't covered yet uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody supporting us for the last 20 years I mean it feels incredible to me that every every couple of years we put out a record and we start touring and people are showing up and they're still supporting and buying shirts and buying CDs and, and just a big thank you it, it made a it made a dream come true for all of us to be able to play music as a living and it's, really incredible. I'm glad to hear it and I'm yeah. glad I can be supporting you guys yeah. and I'm looking Thank forward you. to seeing you guys tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, this is Jeff from Catechism. This is that uh, German guy, Josh Rundquist.
Thank you.